Welcome to Italy. We are spending the day in Pisa. Yes, this Pisa with the Leaning Tower. And we're gonna find out, is it worth the day trip? No one really stays in Pisa. You're going from Florence or Milan or Rome, but is it worth the train ride or the bus tour to spend just a few hours seeing this iconic landmark? Let's find out. It's $27 to climb to the top, and it's $10 to not climb the tower. How many steps is it? <laughs> Quick, Google. How many steps to the top of the tower of Giza? 296 steps. I'm excited. I had no idea before coming here that this was just the bell tower for the church. Like, it's not a grand tower to anything. It's, it's the church's bell tower. You look at the door, and it is crazy halfway in the ground. <laughs> This feels so crooked. Like, you can absolutely feel it when you're standing here. It is really difficult to climb these steps. So the plot twist is people are coming down at the same time you're coming up. And that's probably, what, three foot wide? It's very, you can feel the pathway that people have stepped on for thousands of years. I feel like it gets more windy as you go, like, you can be pushed into this wall now. Americans try to do things too fast when it comes to eating, walking, climbing upstairs, just want to exhaust ourselves so quickly. That's the Rocky song. <laughs> okay. We made it to the top with truly like only a moderate amount of effort. Like I'm a touch winded, but like it really wasn't as bad as I thought because the stairs weren't super steep. This is a beautiful view of Pisa and Tuscany and mountains everywhere. I'd say this is worth the climb. It's the climb. And this was built in the 12th century AD, so really old. It's really tight corners and viewing area because it's meant to be a bell tower and not a tourist attraction. You can definitely tell the incline. If you circle the building, you're kind of going upstairs on part of it and downstairs on the other. I'd say it's only about four degrees tilt, but you can definitely feel it, especially up here, because you're looking at the sloping mountains and they almost look straight <laughs> in some parts. So I'm gonna use the measuring app to try to get a feel of what angle we're at here. Negative three. Negative three. In 1990, they reset it. It went all the way to five degrees, five and a half degrees, and then they reset it to three and a half degrees. So it's a variation of that. They fixed it, but they only fixed it still to tilt, but not to almost fall over in another thousand years. They decided not to straighten it with modern construction and keep it the Leaning Tower of Pisa because it's a tourist attraction, which makes sense. Yeah, I mean, if it was a regular tower, I don't know that anyone would come. Maybe. I mean, a few people. But it definitely wouldn't be the world attraction that it is now. So I'd even give the hot take of this is probably the only reason you should come to Pisa. All the things to do in Pisa are right in this corner. And it all costs $27 to do it all. I think you need maybe two hours to do this. The city looks honestly very similar to Florence. So if you're doing a day trip from Florence, unless you really care to climb the tower, I don't think it's worth it. Once you reach the first level, there's actually one more level above us that you can walk up to, just a few more stairs. Jeez. Made it to the top. You can see the bells from here. It's pretty far. The longer you sit here or stand on this, it you definitely feel it. I feel like I'm about to roll off the side of the building. Mm -hmm. You're kind of just somewhat leaning against the person next to you. Good thing I like you. Another thing you can do while you're at the top is uh, count the tour groups, because mm -hmm. they're all in clumps and or matching shirts. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people here, so if you insist on coming, just be prepared for the crowds. Yeah, especially high season. I mean, we're not even in... We're in April, so it's barely, barely crowds, but yeah, there's still a lot of tour groups. Good thing is I think they let in only a certain amount of people to come to the top of the tower mm -hmm. so you at least know that you're gonna get an okay experience and just so you know it only takes about 30 minutes to mm -hmm. come up see what you need to see do your thing enjoy then you'd be about ready to come down so a lot about 30 minutes and i still say probably about two hours for the entire visit we're heading into the cathedral i'm sure it's grand and glorious like it's all churches gotta be i'm gonna assume there's some gold paintings probably some stained glass windows, a lot of pews, and I'm even gonna go as far as to say some kind of like buried saint or something. Hmm. Confirmed, had 
all of the above, but the saint wasn't buried. They were mummified and just chill in there. Not my favorite, but it was beautiful. It definitely was in St. Paul's, but it was beautiful. Next up is the baptistry. Let's see if we can get baptized again there. I don't know. As the afternoon goes on, it gets more and more crowded, so make sure to get here early to do everything. You're gonna want to. Confirmed, it's just a baptistry. Just a big open building, that's what it is, but it's beautiful, but that's it. And I'm not Catholic, so I can't get baptized here. Though I don't think anyone can, but I definitely can't. I would say the cathedral is as grand as it is outside, but the baptistry, not so much. Not so grand. <laughs> it's more grand on the outside than it is on the inside. Yeah. Across from the baptistry it was a building called Campo Santo. I don't know what that is, but we've got a ticket for it. So uh, turns out it's a cemetery. You're walking and things that kind of look like memoriams on the ground, and yep, that's what it is. Now for the quintessential Pisa Tower pick. Final thoughts for the day. We've been here a little over two hours. I would say if you have 10 days or less in Italy, this is absolutely skippable. I know it's iconic, but once you're here, okay, check, it's fine. Um, but if you have, you know, two weeks, a month, you know, to relax and spend a lot of time and you want a different day trip, yeah, come, sure. But if you can only see so many things in Italy, I would not consider this to be one of them.